Tassiano Bienami, and thank you for watching this on TV News Alert. Acting Deputy Commissioner of Police Rodney Adams was found not guilty of corruption by a jury of five women and two men on Monday, November 17th. The corruption charges against Adams stemmed from a conversation he had with Dorel Williams, who had telephoned the acting deputy commissioner and his wife to arrange a meeting to tell them that their son Rico Adams was not involved in the fatal shooting of Keziah Burke last year. Adams, who was represented by Queen's Consul Ariel Mizik and his son Jamal Mizik, said he was happy with the verdict and will make a more detailed statement later. The only statement I'm going to make at this point in time is that the truth has been revealed. Thank you, folks. The Chief Justice told the jury that the question for them to decide was whether they are satisfied that when Adams spoke with Dorel Williams and asked some questions whether he was conducting a police interview or whether he was speaking in his private capacity. She told them that if they are not sure, they must return a verdict of not guilty. But if they are sure that Adams was acting in the performance of his public duty, they must convict him. Meantime, Director of Public Prosecutions Joanne Malosh explained the area with which the jury had an issue. Here are some of what she had to say. The question the, that the jury came back with, with respect to um, whether or not um, the, the meeting with the uh, witness uh, was in the course or what did it mean to be in the performance of, of his duties. And the Crown's position throughout the case was that um, he was, uh, uh, Deputy Commissioner Adams was in the course of his duties. A police officer doesn't take off his hat and put his hat back on. And so that the Crown's uh, argument was that he was asked by the Commissioner of Police to stay away from the um, investigation involving his son and that by virtue of meeting with the witness that he knew to be a witness in the case was actually not staying away from the case. He had been instructed so that the performance of his duties were that he was not to interfere with the, uh, with the case and, and to meet with the witness. So therefore the Crown's position all along was that um, he was in the performance of his duties and uh, that a police officer under the police force ordinance is always a police officer and cannot choose when not to be a police officer. Questions are now being asked as to whether Adams will return to work and if so, when. The DPP said the prosecution has no right to appeal, but it is still uncertain what happens next. Uh, the, the Crown does not have any uh, right to appeal. So uh, we would not be in a position to be uh, questioning uh, any of the, uh, the, the legal findings or the legal rulings or the direction to the uh, jury, et cetera. So the decision is a final decision, so we'll accept that. During the trial, Commissioner of Police Colin Farquhar admitted that he sent Adams on administrative leave because the two of them had a difference of opinion about whether Adams was interfering with the Kaziah Brick investigation. The commissioner also told the court last Tuesday that before placing Adams on leave, he, Farquhar, did not listen to the content of a tape recording which Adams made of a conversation he had with Dorel Williams. The case which started last Tuesday attracted quite a bit of public attention and spectators, including past and current members of the police force and a few politicians in a wide cross-section of the society. Witnesses in the case included former Deputy Commissioner of Police Brad Sullivan, Acting Deputy Commissioner of Police Wayne Jones, Detective Grantley Watson, and Inspector Wilson. I'm Tassiana Bienemy. Until next time, thanks for watching this on TV News Alert.